Wrapping embroidery stitches is an easy variation that can give some different looks to some of your basic stitches. Today, I'm going to show you how to do that. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. Wrapping embroidery stitches is a fun way to add a variation to some simple basic stitches. Wrapping is typically added to lines of stitches, such as running stitch, back stitch, chain stitch, as opposed to single stitches like Lazy Daisy. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to wrap stitches and give you ideas for when you would wanna use this in an embroidery project. To wrap a line of running stitches, bring the thread up to the front of the piece and then slide the needle between the running stitches and the fabric. Notice that the needle is going in the same direction with every stitch. The needle doesn't pierce the fabric and so the thread is just floating between the fabric and the stitches. When you get to the end of the line, simply take the thread to the back side of the fabric and finish it off. Wrapping a line of back stitches works in a similar way, except that the back stitches will be closer together. Notice that the wrapping covers up any small gaps or spaces that might be left in between the back stitches. When you get to the end of the row, just finish off the thread. And that's what it looks like. So that's how easy it is to add wrapping to lines of stitches. To do this with other stitches besides running stitch and back stitch, you do it in the same way. You bring the thread between the fabric and the stitch and wrap it over along the line. I did my sample with two different colors of thread, but of course you could also do this with a single color. One time that is very useful to use wrapped back stitch is when you want to outline a shape and you want a smooth line, especially around curves. Back stitch does make a solid line, but it's not a smooth line because each stitch is individually noticeable. For a smooth line, traditionally stem stitch or outline stitch would be used, but some people find those stitches difficult to do. So if you struggle with stem stitch and getting a smooth line, then use back stitch and then wrap the back stitches in the same color of thread and that will be a great alternative. Wrapping back stitch or running stitch will also give you an effect that looks kind of like rope. So anytime you'd like that effect, wrap stitches are a great option. Another great time to wrap stitches is if you want a multicolored line. Using two different colors of thread will give different effects. Wrapping is very easy variation, so be sure to play around with the different effects and see what you can do. I'm sure you'll think of lots of other great ideas for using it in your next embroidery project. For more embroidery tutorials, ideas, and inspiration, be sure to check out ebitastudio.com